Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a reading for mid-July. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you. Um, we're going to do it a little bit different this time. We're going to get uh, you and the other person. So you and the other person or vice versa, whichever side is yours. Um, We're going to keep these right together. Um, yeah, so we're going to get you and the other person. Looks like you guys are very much in your element at this time. You probably are being presented with a new beginning. A big one. A huge new beginning. You may have graduated from something. You're very structured. You're very powerful at this time. You've learned some sort of lesson. Now this is the completion. This is a major completion. You have are you are completing a chapter in your life. You've become wiser. You could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel like you guys have learned some sort of lesson and you are about to embark on a new journey of some sort. You could be dealing with somebody who is neglectful, somebody that is cold, the King of Swords reversed. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, could be anybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. This person is lacks communication, okay, lacks communication skills, will not communicate, may use silent treatment as a tool. This person is abusive, the king of swords in reverse. This person is neglectful. This person is mean. Um, so you may be dealing with this person. Remember, this could go vice versa. But this is somebody who uh, is very hasty. This person tr doesn't treat people fairly. So you could be dealing with this person. Page of coins reversed. This is somebody who lacks integrity. So we got one person over here that has learned a lesson, has become wiser. We got somebody over here who lacks integrity, doesn't really tell the truth. And when they're forced with telling the truth, they clam up. Oh my God. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who may be resentful, somebody who is vindictive, somebody that is very brash, somebody that refuses to see, see things from a new perspective, somebody that refuses to open their eyes and to accept change or to do anything differently, to learn new things. It's like this person is really hard to deal with, whoever you're dealing with. They're very cold. They're very, it's my way or the highway. And I feel like you have realized that that's a false sense of security. It's a false foundation. It's, you know, not stable. It's not secure. It takes teamwork to build a foundation. And I think that you're dealing with somebody who uh, really lacks focus. This person refuses to change anything. Okay? Um... This person is reluctant. They're reluctant to, to make any moves in a different direction. Um, they're very standoffish. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very, very standoffish. Um, and I think that you're probably walking away. I think that you're looking for something more. I do. I think that you're looking for something more. I think that... You know, you're try you're 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 very grounded. You're you're trying to be practical. You're trying to be realistic. I think that you're trying to be, to remain structured and poised. And I think that you know you're you're looking for success. You're looking for victory. And whoever you're dealing with is unwilling to <laughs> open up to any new change, to any new perspectives. They they are unwilling. It's like no, 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 no. It's my way or the highway. Um, yeah, I think that you are looking for happiness. You're looking for happily ever after. You don't want to do all the work. And I think over here, you know, whoever you were dealing with, they...
they probably talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. They they probably present themselves as somebody solid and stable, and they probably present themselves as, you know, complete wish fulfillment. But in fact, you know, they're they're pretty darn miserable. I mean, I can't pretend here. We, I mean, I can't. You know, I think that this person, you know, they think they 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 probably think you know that they can get better. They probably think that. You know, they they can they can have it all someplace else, so they don't need to change. You know, they don't need to make any changes. They they don't need to. So I, I I really feel like we have somebody over here that is very. It's almost like they're a snob, very snobbish, very snotty, very. Um, unwilling to budge put it that way and I feel like you probably whichever one this is this can go vice versa we have somebody over here that is wanting love that is available for love that has a lot of love to offer and is looking for happily ever after and doesn't want to do all the work and I think that we have somebody who are here that has realized that you know I got to go after my wish fulfillment and stop putting in effort to a false sense of security where you know I'm not, there's no collaboration, there's no teamwork, there's no compromise. I think we're, we got somebody over here that is will, uh, unwilling to make any compromises whatsoever. And they may, you know, they, they, may, they may have other people around them that, you know, I can just go get that. I have another opportunity. I don't I don't need to budge. I don't need to see things any other way. I don't I don't need to work with you because I have another opportunity. Um I feel as though you you probably have a really big heart and I feel like you probably have an opportunity coming in from somebody that it will be easy. You won't have to. You won't have to do all the work. I feel like somebody really does see your big heart, and they are going to probably. They're probably watching you. They're probably. wanting you to give them a chance they probably are afraid of rejection they're probably they have stepped forth this is a delayed arrival they 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 haven't stepped forth they haven't stepped in because funny I'm having a hard time communicating this person is afraid to communicate we have somebody here that is afraid to communicate they are afraid to they're afraid of rejection they see your big heart they probably think that you will reject them if they express themselves to you we definitely have somebody here I just feel it so strongly somebody is fearing rejection it's like they want to have a beginning with you they want to start something with you they want to give to you and it's not it's like they 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 They're trying to be really careful with their words. They're trying to be really careful with their actions. They want to make sure that you trust them. I think that they know that you have been deceived. They know that you have been in a situation where that, that was false. I think that you have somebody here that...
is coming in, but they're delaying their arrival because they they fear that you will reject them because they probably fear that you're not ready. They probably fear that you're not ready for a new beginning. Maybe they feel like you're not, like your heart isn't ready. Maybe they feel like your 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 heart won't be in it. Maybe they feel like you haven't completed that last chapter yet. They probably feel like you are still holding on to that breakup, you know. They probably feel like you're still holding on to that false sense of security. And that's why they haven't communicated. That's why they have stayed in the background. Because, you know, they feel like you're, you're not ready. But this person is interested. And this person sees your big heart. And this person wants to give to you. But they want to make sure that they're going to get reciprocation. And I feel like you may be you may be still hoping, you know, for this person to change, for somebody else to change. Um, but if you are hoping for somebody else to change, I'm here to tell you this person is not going to change. This person is not going to try any new things. This person is not going to, you know change their their thoughts in any way they're not going to change their ways they're not going to take any new approaches this pu person is really you know it's my way or the highway and they probably are like that because they they think that they're very pompous they're very very pompous whoever this person is i feel as though this person has a really big ego. The Nine of Cups is ego. This person has a big ego. This person is more focused on their money. They're focused on their assets. They're focused on, you know, stability. They're not really, there's no love in these cards. This person is not focused on a relationship. They're focused on the things. They're focused on, you know, having it all. So whoever this person is, that you are probably... Well, there's a couple different scenarios here. I feel like we have somebody here that is interested in you. And they are stepping forward because they probably think that you're still holding on to this pompous individual. And you may be still holding on to this pompous individual. I don't know. But this pompous individual... Um, is not awake this this guy this this person is is very cutthroat this person is doesn't know the connection they, they're not awake at all they're totally asleep I'm, I'm sorry this person is totally unaware of divine magic okay they're totally unaware of their subconscious you know selves this person has not been enlightened this person is focused on material this person is focused on assets. This po person is is totally uh, on a whole different level than you are. Whoever it is, whoever you're dealing with, this person is more focused on things that they can have. Things. This person is is very um, cunning, crafty, and will do whatever it takes to get their own way to get what they want. Um, this person uses uh, silent treatment and isolation as a tactic to get their way. Um, this person may um, have some tricks up their sleeve. This person uh, is an untrustworthy individual. We got an untrustworthy individual over here who will do anything to get what they want. So I'm not sure who this is that you're dealing with, but I think that you need to be careful. And this Seven of Swords reverse says, be careful. Be careful. I'm not sure if this person, you know, sees that you have a new beginning or they see that you have a big heart. You may have somebody here that, you know, uses, you know, take my kindness for weakness, that kind of thing. They may, they may try to take advantage of you. They may see your kindness. They may see your big heart and try to take advantage of you. So 
Just be careful, Virgo. Be careful, okay? This is be careful. The Seven of Swords reversed. Somebody may want you to give them a chance, but it looks like they have ulterior motives with this Magician reversed. So I'm here to tell you to be really careful. We could have somebody that... It comes trotting into your life nonchalantly, okay? This person comes in nonchalantly with some big-ass offer, okay? It's, it just it looks really good. It seems like it's great. It's beautiful. It's, it's just like, wow. It's a dream come true with this Nine of Cups. But in reality, it's not real. It's not a real offer. They have ulterior motives. They have some tricks up their sleeve. And I think it has to do with things material gain whoever this person is if they all they're looking for is you know the good life but without the love because there's no love in this set there's no love over here there's no love it's not about love it's about having it all having everything having the it's about ego whoever this person is it's it's all ego and they they don't they're they're they're, they're they don't have anything good to offer you even though it might look real good so you may they may come to you with some sort of gift to win you over and and maybe they do that because you have stepped over the finish line maybe it's because you've learned your lesson maybe it's because you're in your power maybe it's because you're making more money maybe it's because you've got your own place maybe it's because you broke free maybe it's because you've totally walked away and you're no longer giving them a chance it's like maybe it's because you've shut them down completely and you're in you you've opened your heart in another direction maybe it's because you're finally happy you know and now this is like this is this this trickster here who wants to steal your energy and they want to keep you down so just be careful be really 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 careful um is there new love coming in for virgo somebody could be coming in very very quickly so be prepared you could be dealing with a cancer you could be dealing with a pisces cancer scorpio it could be dealing with anybody Okay, but somebody is probably going to be coming into your life very, very quickly. They could be at a distance, um, traveling to you. You could meet this person on travel. Um, this person that is coming in, they have something to give. It will be easy. It won't be the struggle that you've dealt with with this person. This person has... The, is very capable of taking care of you. This person is structured. This person could be a business owner. This person could drive some sort of vehicle for a living. This person is a boss or a manager. This person is very for family oriented. This person is a leader. This person um, that is coming into your life is probably doesn't have a lot of fear this person is ready to face opposition I feel like this person is waiting for the right time to enter there's been a delay but I think he's coming I think he's coming I think that he's right around the corner um, but you have to be careful you have to be careful because you have a shady individual over here that has tricks up their sleeve they have hidden agendas and they're not in it for anything but the assets that's the only reason they're in it there's no love there's no passion they just want to have it all so be careful be careful you probably you know you, you may be you may be tested you may be tested this month whether you've learned your lesson or not you're about to enter a whole new world a whole new life a whole new journey I think that you probably will choose to let go of this false sense of security because I think that you have a bigger, better opportunity coming after you and I think it's coming fast. I think it's going to come really, really fast. It's going to be unexpected. Um, I think that this person is at a distance though. I think that this person is going to travel to you. You know, they're going to, they're going to, there's a distance. This person over here is not a good person. They're asleep. They haven't awoken at all. 
It's about all about money and assets. Hopefully you have learned your lesson. Good luck.